The young sensation Virgil Ortiz. Not a prospect anymore in my eyes. He's a contender. He wants to fight the best. He's talking about Thurman, Porter, and Garcia. This is what I like about the young fighters coming up today. You got Tiafimo Lopez, Devin Haney, Virgil Ortiz, Ryan Garcia, Jerron Ennis. These young fighters want all the smoke, and Virgil Ortiz is no exception. Ortiz is only 21 years old. He stands 5'10 with 70 inch reach. So he's a nice size welterweight, and plus he has the punch and power to back it up. Virgil Ortiz's next fight is December 13th. No opponent has been named yet. I just hope they don't rush this kid too fast. He's going at a good pace right now, but I would like him to step up his competition. I think IBFP Boxing Nuke said this oh, two, a couple of weeks ago. Shout out to IBFP. Sergio Lipinitz would be a good test for him. Sergio Lipinitz shows he got power at welterweight. I would give Ortiz the edge because his size, speed, and power is 16-1 and one with 12 knockouts, so he's has decent to good power. The only loss he has on his record is against Mikey Garcia, and that's not the frown. Flipping it stands at 5'7 and 67-inch reach, so it will be at a height and reach disadvantage in this fight. Flipping it is also in his prime at 30 years old. It seems like most of the fighters Victor Ortiz wants to fight in the future are all with PBC. So he's gonna run into the same problem that Terrence Crawford is running into. He's not gonna be able to get those fights. One fight that could be made, but it might be too early to make it, is against Jerome Ennis. Jerome Ennis also a monster prospect slash contender in the division. He's 5'10 with a 74 inch reach, 24 and 0 with 20 knockouts. He's 21 years old, exactly like Victor Ortiz. And he's having the same problem. Jerron Ennis was recently complaining about that. He can't get any fights. None of the Walter Waits and the PBC will fight him. I think a good spot for Ennis is go to Eddie Hearn in the zone. Matchroom boxing does not have a true threat at the Walter Waite division. Jerron Ennis could be that threat for Eddie Hearn. That fight should happen down the line. I don't think it should happen right now. Another fight Virgil Ortiz was talking about is a super fight with Errol Spence at 154. Now, I think that could be possible in a couple of years. I think that could be probably more possible than a Canelo fight. That's if Spence recovered from the accident. If he made a full recovery, then this fight could be made. And I think it'd be a very difficult fight for Spence, especially after two more years of experience. Leave your thoughts and comments below. What do you think Virgil Ortiz's next move should be? Jay Beasy, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone.